about 353 between both days. My name is Eddie B. I'm here at the first annual Holly High Voltage Experience from Revolt Systems. So this week we brought out the Little Giant. Uh, this car was originally built in 1958. It's been on the salt for a very long time. It has a lot of history out there. It was originally built by Team Vesco. They came to us last year and wanted to talk about possibly going electric on it. Asked me if it was something that was doable. And uh, we sat down, did some, did some basic math to see how fast the car goes currently with a, with a V8 and uh, basically match the same horsepower to see if we could do the same with a couple of electric motors in it. So uh, the car's gone up to 349 miles an hour uh, under combustion. We were able to go quite a bit faster. So uh, our top speed was 359 for a few seconds, but uh, we've averaged out 353 between both days. What we decided to do to get the amount of horsepower we needed is run two Tesla Model S motors that were highly modified. We basically stripped down all the gears, get rid of them, machine down the motor, and we made a direct drive that has a Gates six inch blower belt basically to tie the two motors together. The bottom motor is the master. It's directly tied into the rear end. So we're using a quick change rear end on this. And the top motor is basically a slave and it helps the bottom motor move. So we have two Tesla Model S motors, two inverters, started with a Tesla P100 D-Pack for the batteries for our first run. Uh, we couldn't get over 300 miles an hour. So the battery was just sagging on us way too far. So what we did is we came back to the office and built a brand new pack by hand out of uh, 1,152 prismatic cells. Every single one of them was hand placed. And we spent weeks building that by hand. It was extremely tedious, uh, but we were able to get the, the amperage we finally needed. So when we went back to Bonneville for World Finals, we were able to run the 350 plus mile an hour, which 50 miles an hour doesn't sound like a big, big number, but at those speeds, it's ridiculously hard to do that. Team Vasco was great to work with too. Uh, they were really pleased with the consistency of electric. Um, they're used to blowing up engines all the time, especially when you do a five mile drag race. You're pushing these, these cars to such crazy limits. Um, it's not uncommon to guy, for guys to go through one engine every single run out there. So we ran the same motors for eight runs and we didn't have any problems at all. It was just consistently working every single time. The numbers were the same, the speeds were the same. It was just like the math just didn't lie. It was, it was pretty fun to watch.